Today, we'll be looking at the Spigen Ultra Hybrid clear cases. If you're like me and you just picked up your brand new iPhone 13 model, either the 13 mini, the 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max, you might want to put a case on it, especially if you have butterfingers. One thing I could say about this year's iPhone 13 models is that Apple really did a good job with the colors. The gold and the Sierra blue on the iPhone 13 Pro looks stellar. And that's why most people opt in for a clear case to show off that design. Spigen has been making these clear cases for the iPhone for years now. And the one we're going to take a look at today is the Ultra Hybrid clear case, which will run you $29.99 US dollars. And also the Ultra Hybrid with MagSafe, which will run you an extra $10 coming at $13. $29.99 so yeah you have to pay that extra for the MagSafe compatibility which to me is kind of worth it but if you don't like having a ring showing on your case then you could stick to the basics all right so now time for the unboxing the case this year same as the last year in my opinion I haven't really seen any changes with the box you know the white box with the Spigen logo top and also it showed the device that you have so this is the 13 Pro Max right here 6.7 inch display and as I said before this is the ultra hybrid case right here so in order to unbox it super simple just pop this open and you have the case inside so yes everybody loves this case man Including me. So one thing I love is that they started to add this, I think two, three years now. This is the plastic puller, the puller thing. So it's easier to peel off. So let's get this off. The ASMR lovers love that one right there. One more peel. Whew. Look at that. And let's just take a look around the case really quickly to see if they, oh, I see some changes so far. So in last year's um, case, they had a volume up and volume down that has been removed this year. And I, I complained about that last year. It's like, yo, why do you need a plus, a minus and plus button? We already know what it does. Same thing over here for the power button. They removed the PWR that was there. Roll the clip. Taking a look at the sides. I'm not really a big fan of the word power right here. I don't know, I think they didn't have to put the word power, they could have just left it, but... The so yeah, I'm not sure if I did that, but this year, the wording is not on the case, so less branding, but we also have that speaking branding down here that we all know and love. Nothing wrong with that, I'd love to see it. Now, in terms of the case itself, speaking and using this new coating called Blue Resin, that allows it not to yellow so much over time. So with this case, you could feel that the back is kind of hard. If you guys could hear it. So what that means is that the back part is gonna take way longer to get yellow over time. When it's softer, that's when it's easier to get yellow. So when it comes down to these cases, guys, I just recommend you to always wash your hand, but this is the perfect way to show off your brand new iPhone in this new Sierra blue or gold colorway. So let's slap our iPhone onto it right now. There we go. And of course I'm getting a Twitter notification. But wow, this is clean. Yep, love to see it. So let's see how the lens is because you know this year's iPhone, the lens is huge. So let's see if Spigen covered it. And yes, they did. So if you look at this resivity we have right here, show it to Flossie Carter. You guys can see that we have tons of lip protection for the camera lens. So if you put your phone face down, you can see that it won't scratch the lenses. Also with this case, since the camera lens are so big without the case, the phone is actually uneven when it's on flat surfaces. But when he has this case on, it evens it out because, you know, we have that lip protection right here. Now in terms of lip protection for the screen, there's a tiny bit of lip protection, nothing too crazy. As I always say guys, if you're worried about scratching your screen in the first place, always get a screen protector. But for me personally, I'm, I'm someone who doesn't really like screen protectors, so I use it without. Okay, now let's look at the buttons. Let's see how this feels. Yeah, that's very tactile. You guys can probably hear me clicking into that. And the reason why it's so tactile is because Spigen added this extra layer to click into the button. So if you look closer right here, you can see it's almost like a mouse click because of this little layer they added. So when you press your power button, 
it feels super tactile the same thing for the left the volume up and down buttons on the left over here take a look at it you guys can see we have those two buttons added boom right there so it's way easier to press also in terms of the volumes the ringer switch you can easily reach that it's not too deep so if you have short nails or long nails that shouldn't be an issue reaching this ringer switch right here now one thing i also noticed is that speaking left this extra like bump up the top because with the brand new iphones we have a 20 percent smaller notch and because of that apple had to push the earpiece up a little and as you can see Spigen got that down pack they actually have this little bump up top here which makes it um like the earpiece get more room so you can hear clearer so that's really nice that's attention to detail right there taking a look at the bottom of the case you can see that we have huge cutouts for our lightning cable so any third party cable you want to use that will not be an issue we also have cutouts for speakers and microphones of course and then looking right across the sides every four corner we have that air cushion technology bumper right here so there's one two three and lastly four so if you drop these on the corners it shouldn't be an issue because we got that Spigen air cushion technology right here which in turn basically just absorbs shock another thing that makes the case so grippy is that Spigen went out of their way to add four feet to the case so if you look closely you can see this elevated feet right here that's right around the four corners of the device so if you look closely you could see that elevated feet and that allows the case to stay like put whenever you put it like face down right here like this so that's another reason why this case doesn't slide around much and that's really important you don't want your phone to just be sliding around like it's on ice age all right guys no hate to apple apple did send me these out but this phone case is just super slippery i don't know what's up with it but it just feels like butter in my hands all right look because apple didn't add those feet as you can see the corners are just super smooth everything is super smooth just look how it glides look at that <laughs> this thing is just gliding man compare that to the Spigen which of course has the rubber feet on four corners plus the case itself is way more grippier look at that it's not going anywhere same force I'm using all right guys so as I mentioned before this case does work with MagSafe, but it's not MagSafe compatible. So here we have a Spigen MagSafe charger. I just annihilated the box actually, guys. Hey guys, so basically, if you didn't know, every iPhone from the iPhone 12 and upwards nowadays comes with MagSafe technology, meaning that you could use a MagSafe charger like this. So let's just put this in. It's just like the one we just tested. So these are the same cases guys, same case, but this one is MagSafe compatible and this one isn't. So let's go ahead and put our MagSafe charger onto it real quick. Boom. And this one is way more sturdy. All right. So this one would kind of hold up the phone as you guys can see, you know, it's not going anywhere. It is glued to the phone, but if we try it with this one, which isn't MagSafe compatible, it does charge. As you can see it does charge but it's not sticking so yeah that's just the differences between a magsafe compatible speaking case and just the clear case itself but me personally i don't mind this since it has magsafe technology which can also put other magsafe devices onto it such as the apple wallet case so if you picked up an apple leather wallet case like this you could easily slap it onto the back since it's magsafe compatible there we go you can see the wallet pops up and that's all because this case is magsafe compatible so it sticks to it very well and yeah you could go ahead and set up your wallet and this is the new apple wallet so it also works with find my so you could go ahead and add it to find my as well all right guys now that wraps up today's video let me know what you guys think down below did speaking do a good job this year i think they did man the case is good they added extra protection for yellowing future proofing it with that new blue resin anti-coating that they added also it's not slippery that's one thing i like compared to the apple cases 
so if you try to slide this around it's not going anywhere it's super grippy if you're supposed to use the apple clear case man that thing slides so much but yeah this year speaking did a really good job with their clear cases i said before if you'd like to pick up any one of these i'll leave links down below in the description for you guys as always guys love peace and tweaks signing out